the worst is to come because there are whole sections of 90, Bill 96 that have not come into force yet. The act respecting French, the official and common language of Quebec known as Bill 96, which strengthens the provincial French language charter, was passed in the National Assembly in May and officially became law on June 1, 2022. How will it continue to impact English-speaking Quebecers in 2023 and beyond? The law is being implemented in phases. And I think many of the bigger concerns are down the line. Uh, what is going to happen to our uh, CSHEP system, for instance? The 201 article bill targets different aspects of Quebecers' lives, like imposing French only birth and death certificates and limiting the use of English in the courts. But the province had vowed health care wouldn't be affected. QCGN is receiving testimonies from from uh, Quebecers across the province who in the past were able to get their diagnostic reports um, in English are being told, no, it's in French only. In May, thousands took to the streets of Montreal, namely Anglophones, to denounce the effects of the bill. I believe it sent a message. I think it had an effect, obviously not the kind of effect that we want. When Bill 96 preemptively used the notwithstanding clause, to suspend the Quebec Charter of Rights and Freedoms and the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, the federal government turned around and in their bill, C-13, to modernize the Official Languages Act, <laughs> refer to the Charter of the French Language several times. So they have, in doing that, they're explicitly supporting Quebec's preemptive use of the notwithstanding clause to suspend our charter rights. Jean-Francois Reberge, the new minister responsible for the French language, says he has no plans to soften the bill and many are awaiting to see what 2023 will bring. I think that we're going to see a lot of court challenges as sections of the new charter of the French language come into play and are actually applied, we're going to see more people not being able to access their right. I think there will be continued anxiety. We certainly at QCGN will continue to fight. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.